Hello and welcome to today's online communion. If you've not remembered to go and grab some bread, some wine, uh, why not just hit pause, pause the pasta, and just go and grab something right now so that we can celebrate the Lord's Supper together. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that as we're about to eat this bread and drink this wine, it's an incredible physical way to remember what you did for us, that you died for us, that you took our sin and our shame upon yourself. You left them in the grave and you rose again to eternal life. We just ask that right now, as we take this meal together, as we share this Last Supper, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would do a work in us again, reminding us of your love for us and inspiring our love for you. Amen. On the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread and he gave thanks for it, as we've just done. And then he broke it, saying, this is my body, broken for you. Do this to remember me. Let's take the bread, his body, broken for you and for me. And eat together. In the same way, after he and the disciples had finished eating, Jesus took the cup and said, This is the new covenant sealed with my blood. When you drink this, do it to remember me. This is the blood of Jesus shed for you and for me. Let's drink together. Jesus said, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are telling others about the Lord's death until he comes again. Let's just stop for a moment and pray for some of the situations going on in our lives and in the world. Lord Jesus, we start by just thanking you again for all you've done for us. And we want to ask right now, Lord, that you would help us, Lord, through the challenges that we each face in this season, that you would help us, Lord, where we're struggling. Help us, Lord, where our mental health is not what we want it to be. Help us, Lord Jesus, with the physical ailments and illnesses that we struggle with. Would you help us, Lord Jesus, with the challenges that we, we face in our family lives, maybe in the workplace or at school? Lord Jesus, just be with us in those places. And we pray for our families, Lord God, for their challenges, for the situations they face. Thank you that you died for every person. And so we want to pray for our families, our friends, Lord God, those close to us, that you would be with them and be there, Lord. And then we ask, Lord, for the wider world, Lord, for our town, our community. You know, Lord Jesus, the struggles people face in this season. And so we just want to ask, Lord God, that you would be not only their comfort, but you would be their healer. You would be their strength. You would be their redeemer, their restorer. Lord Jesus, we just pray that in this season, you would break any strongholds over people's lives. You would break the strongholds of addiction. You would break the strongholds of bad habits. You would heal people from past traumas that keep them trapped. For you died for us so that we could be free. And we pray for our world, Lord Jesus. We pray for those nations where there is not peace. We pray for those nations where there is injustice. And we, we think of our, our brothers and sisters in, in nations where the church is persecuted. And we ask that you would give them the strength to endure and lead many people to know you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you didn't die for just a few, but you gave your life as a ransom for many, so that none would be lost who choose to believe in you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you, and the Lord be with you, and I hope I'll see you soon.